The Ordinal of Alchemy by Thomas Norton Chapter 5 Bryce, by surname, when the change of coin was had, made some men sorry and some men glad, and as to much people that change, seemed a new thing and a strange. So that season befell a wondrous thing, touching this science without leasing, that three masters of this science all lay in one bed nigh to leaden hall, which had elixirs perfect, white and red. A wonder such three to rest in one bed, and that within the space of days ten, where hard it is to find one in millions of men. Of the dukedom of Lorraine, one, I understand, was born, that other nigh the middle of England, under a cross in the end of Shire's three. The third was born, the youngest of them is he, which by his nativity is by clerks bound, that he should honor all English ground. A man might walk all the world about and fail such three masters to find out. Twain be fleeting, the youngest shall abide, and do much good in this lund at a tide. But sin of princes shall let or delay the grace that he should do on a day. The eldest master chanted of him a song, and said that he should suffer much wrong. Of them which were to him greatly behold, and many things more this master told, which saith that time hath truly befall, and some of them hereafter shall. Whereof one is truly, said he, after troubles, great joy shall be in every quarter of this land, which all good men shall understand. The younger asked when that should be. The old man said, When men shall see the holy cross, honored both day and night, in the land of God, in the land of light, which may be done in right good season, but long delayed it is without reason. When that beginning, note well this thing, this science shall draw towards the king, and many more graces ye may behold. More than of us shall now be told. Grace on that king shall descend, when he old manners shall amend. He shall make full secret search for this science with dulcet speech, and among the solitary he shall have tidings certainly. So sought King Khalid of many men, till he met with Morian which helped Khalid at his need. His virtues caused him to speed. Now of such matters let us cease, and of the subtle work rehearse. Great need hath he to be a clerk that would perceive this subtle work. He must know his first philosophy, if he trust to come by alchemy. And first ye shall well understand all that take this work in hand when your materials by preparation be made well apt for generation, then they must be departed, a twin, into four elements, if ye would to win. Which thing to do if ye na can, go and learn it of Hortelan, which made his book of that doctrine. How ye should part the elements of wine. Moreover, ye must for your succour know the effects of the qualities for called heat, cold, moisture, and dryness, of which for all things compounded is. And sith in this art your chief desire is to have color which should abide fire, you must know before you can that see how every color engendered shall be. For every color which may be thought shall here appear before that white be wrought. Yet more ye would have to this sum, swiftly to melt as wax or gum, else might it not enter and pierce the center of metals as octors rehearse. So you would have it both fix and flow, with color plenty, if you wist how such three contraries jointly to meet in one accord is a great secret. Nevertheless, he that is clear of mind in this chapter may it well find, and first to give you a short doctrine of the aforesaid qualities prime. Heat and cold be qualities active, moisture and dryness be qualities passive. For they suffer in the actives ever more, as stones to the lime and water to the floor. Hereupon judge, ye may be bold. 
nothing is full wrought but by heat and cold. Nevertheless, the passives have some activity, as in handicrafts men you may daily see. In baking, in brewing, and other crafts, all moisture is operative and so dryness be shall. Aristotle in his physics, and other many more, said ab actionibus procedit speculato. They said that practice is root and beginning of speculation and of all kind. For the properties of everything be perceived by their working. As by colors of urine we may be bold to give sentence of heat and cold, by these aforesaid four qualities prime. We seek colors with length of time. Of white color we be not full sure to seek it, but in a substance pure. Great doctrine thereof, learn now you may, when you know how colors grow all day. Color is the utmost thing of a body clear. Clear substance, well termined, is his matter here. If heat hath maestry in matter that is dry, White color is ever thereof certainly, as it approacheth in sight of brent bones, and in making of all limestones. Where cold worketh in matter moist and clear, yet of such working whiteness will appear, as it showeth in ice and frost horror. The cause is set out in philosophy before. I write not here of common philosophy, but by example to teach alchemy that one may be perceived by that other, as is the child perceived by the mother. If heat in moist matter, and gross withal, work thereof black color in gender shall. Example hereof, if ye of me desire, behold, when ye see green wood set on a fire, when cold worketh in matter thick and dry, black color shall be. This is the cause why. Such matter is compacted, and made thick, with cold constraining, enemy to all quick. Thickness made darkness with privation of light, so color is private, then black it is to sight. Therefore evermore remember this, how clear matter is matter of whiteness. The cause efficient may be manifold, for somewhere it is heat and sometime cold. But white and black, as all men may see, be colors contrary in most extremity. Wherefore your work with black must begin, if the end should be with whiteness to win. The middle color, as philosophers write, is red color between black and white. Nevertheless, trust me certainly, red is last in work of alchemy. Also they say in their doctrine, how these two colors, ruse and citrine, be mean colors between white and red, and how that green and color wan as lead between red and black be colors mean, and freshest color is of matter most clean. Physicians in urines have colors nineteen between white and black as they ween, whereof color under white sabalbidus is one like in color to onychine stone. Of such like color magnetia found is, but magnetia glittereth with clearness. In our subtle work of alchemy shall be all colors that hath been seen with eye, an hundredth colors more in certain than ever hath been seen in your eye. Wherein so many colors might not be, but if our stone contained every degree, of all compositions found in work of kind, and of all compositions imaginable by mind. Of as many colors as shall therein be seen, so many graduations your wisdom must attain. And if you know not such graduations all, learn them of Raymond in his art general. Gilbert Keimer wrote after his device of seventeen proportions, but they may not suffice in this science, which he could never find. And yet in physic he had a noble mind. Where the royalty of the nature of man advanceth oft medicines of the physician, and so honoreth oft times his craft, when that the medicines peradventure might be left, but it is not so in physic of minds. For that art exceedeth all other engines, and resteth only in the wisdom of man, 
as by experience wise man witness can. And so of alchemy the true foundation is in composition by wise graduation of heat and cold, of moist and of dry, knowing other qualities engendered thereby, as hard and soft, heavy and light, rough and smooth by ponders right, with number and measure wisely sought, in which three resteth all that God wrought, for God made all things and set it sure in number, ponder, and in measure, which numbers, if you do change and break upon nature, you must do reek. Wherefore Anaxagoras said, Take good heed that to conjunction ye not proceed, till ye know the ponders full complete of all components which should therein meet. Bacon said that old men did nothing hide, but only proportion wherein was no guide. For none, old octor, king, prince, nor lord, writing of this science with others did accord in the proportions which, if you would reach, Raymond with Bacon and Albert done it teach. With old Anaxagoras, of them four ye shall have perfect knowledge, but not of one have all. And if you would join four qualities to intent, then must ye conjoin every element. As water and earth after your desire well compounded with air and fire, knowing the worthiest in his activity, the second, the third, every each in his degree, the fourth and the vilest may not be refused, for it is profitable and best to be used, and best may extend his multiplication, in whom is the virtue of our generation, and that is the earthly litharge of our stone. Without him generation shall be none, neither of our tincture fixation, for nothing is fixed but earth alone. All other elements movable be, fire, air, and water, as ye daily see. But fire is cause of extendability, and causeth matters permissible to be. And clear brightness in colors fair is caused of kind evermore of air, and air also with his coaction maketh things to be of light liquefaction as wax is and butter and gums all a little heat maketh them to melt and fall water cleanseth with ablution blithe and things mortifying causeth to revive of multiplying of fire is no greater wonder than is of multiplying of earth set under for earth beareth herbs daily new and new Without number, therefore it is true that earth is wonderful as well as fire, though one spark may soon fill a shire. If all a shire were filled with flax, one spark then would wonderfully wax. Fire and earth be multipliers alone, and they be causers of multiplying our stone. Of this earth showeth Albert our great brother in his minerals which litharge is better than other. For the white elixir he doth it there rehearse, and the book of meter showeth it in verse.